Hello sewing friends! Friday sews time again. In today's video I'm going to talk to you about the duet trousers or my latest iteration of them, the everyday tee and what else? Oh yes and some fabric. Stay tuned! talk about the thing that I'm wearing. Now I've just sw swapped my clothes over from my summer wardrobe to my autumn winter wardrobe and this was in it and this is, if I show you the picker chart, 3697. Now what's good about this pattern though I haven't used it properly is it's actually got like a whole set for, for knits and a whole set for wovens. And I, I do like me a tunic there. This this one here, I made out of some old scrap of charity shop material last year and I did wear it quite a bit and I've just tried it on today. But there were lots of things like that I, this was my first attempt with the knit one and I didn't, I should have made the waist a bit bigger. Now, uh, this, this band here, as I said, I ended up having to put in a little panel at the side because it wasn't quite big enough in the waist. Also, I lengthened the sleeves a little bit, but they're still very much three quarter on me. I'm not sure if I like that, especially for the winter. If we're going to have long sleeves, let's go the whole hog. Let me know what you think in the comments. <laughs> but I think I will give this one another go. And the, the idea of doing it for wovens is a good one. Anyway, that's enough about that. I have had a mini fabric haul. That lady that uh, I bought from Trade Me, she, this is the next lot. There's only a very small amount. Don't worry, I'm not gonna bore you with it. But uh, just thought I'd show you what I've got. I got a nice piece of fleece, which I think I will use to make my husband a under t-shirt that they wear when they go tramping for extra warmth. And then there was a nice piece of red jersey none of this is very exciting but it is the kind of thing you know when you want a t-shirt you want jersey and I what I liked about that was so light and drapey so that's a kind of an orangey color and then this one is a heavier one and this is uh it's still got quite a nice drape I think that's probably viscose jersey maybe nice piece there they're all and they're quite decent amounts two and a half meters ish and this one as well, I think there might even be three metres of this one in a kind of a pink. So, as I say, not exciting, but very much what you would like to have in your stash. And then there's this one, which came out a bit differently to what I thought it would be when it was in the picture. It does have a lot of stretch. I thought that might make a, a vest top or something for going under things, you know. Um, like if you've I've got, so, I've got quite a few jackets, so I wanted to make something sort of slinky for underneath. And then this one for a white shirt, maybe, white blouse. Very. And then there's this one, which is just literally plain cream cotton. So as I say, nothing interesting really there, but glad to have it all the same. And this I've just brought off the line. I've noticed this one is a chiffon and it's, quite thin but I thought I might make I have had in the past often tops actually in this kind of a style but made in chiffon and then you wear them over a jumper quite like that so that's what I'm thinking of doing with that and I've got quite a bit of that maybe three meters and then there's this now I'm a I'm a sucker for textures me and I love the texture of that so don't know what I'll make with that yet but yeah lovely texture the only problem with fabrics like that is they don't inherently have any warmth so if you're going to wear them in the winter you're going to have to wear them with something oh forgot to say when the lady gave me that um, fleece she also gave me a, a pair of cut out trousers and she's she's I would say she's taller than me um, and she said they were size 20 and I thought <laughs> whatever I'll just make them up and the, you know the mad thing is I ran these up I'll show the, I'll show you a picture of them here I ran these up and they actually fit me much better than my duet trousers but more more about that later I thought well 
it would be handy to have a pair, a pair for the winter to wear at home in the house when it's cold. I also did a muslin of the everyday tea. Now this is a pattern I've looked at it. I've been thinking about making teas that go to go under jumpers and I wanted to see what this one would fit like. I liked it a lot, the pictures there. But then now when you see it on me, I made size uh, I made size 2XL and then found it was too big. So I took it in a bit at the sides. It doesn't make a whole lot of difference along the along the shoulders because it's a, it's a dolman cut on sleeve. Not sure if I like that or not either. I didn't realise that actually when I bought the pattern for the grand old sum of, of a dollar. But the thing that really gets me is, I'll show you in the picture here, is how long it is. I have not adjusted this pattern in any way, but it's so long and I'm five foot eight. Now admittedly there's no hem on it. So yeah, um, still thinking about that one. Oh, I forgot to talk about my blue jacket. Remember the blue jacket I was making last week? I will put a picture of it there. That, so yeah, uh, thanks for all of your uh, encouraging comments because I really wasn't quite sure about it when I, when I put it on last week. I wondered if it was a fail. But I've done a few things. Now, a lot of you suggested, well, first of all, the fact that you all encouraged me and you thought it was nice was, uh, was good because it gave me more faith in it. And then what I decided was the problem. Remember I said the collar was so high? Well, what I've done is I I got that baby with a with a steam iron and I stretched the outer edge of the collar right out. And to be honest, I think that's a bit of a design fault that the outer edge of the collar should be a lot bigger um, and it should be more curved. In, in, in fact, it should be more curved. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm no expert, but I think it, but it certainly sits a lot better now that I've managed to stretch the collar on the outer edge quite a bit. Um, I put a button on it. I managed to find a great big popper. Didn't even know they made poppers that big. Um, and yeah, I and I did take it in a little bit under the arms where it was easy to take it in. And I've, I know when I sewed up the side slits, I decided they weren't a great idea after all. And to, to be honest now, I actually really like it. So yeah, here it is. Yep, yeah, and now lastly, those freaking trousers. Ah, those duet trousers. Somebody said in the comments, maybe more than one person said that they thought that they were still not, not long enough in the rise. You know, I think I, I think I've already said that I've I added two inches on. Now I think the rise is actually a little bit long there now. Probably should be more like that. However, it was amazing really that a lot of the problems just a bit disappeared when I allowed a lot more rise. Then I realised something that they looked really nice on. I did the darts and everything. They actually fitted me really really well. They looked great in, in a non-stretch fabric but I couldn't sit down in them. I hate that feeling when you sit down and you know, everything's kind of. <laughs> so what I did was I undid the side seams uh, from about there and made them smaller to, uh, to let them out a bit. And then I also took the back darts out and I put elastic in the waistband, which, but of course I made a mess of that, but I'll tell you why I haven't gone any further with it. So there I am, that's all fine and dandy, thinking, well, maybe that will make them work. Now, remember, this, these are non-stretch fabric. So I think, well, that surely is enough room to sit down. Let's just try that. <sighs> I just feel like I'm poured into these. See, one of the problems when you have a fat tummy is, you stand up and your fat tummy is there, but when you sit down, your fat tummy spreads out. I mean, how did we ever manage to wear trousers before there were stretch fabrics? So I think having got this far, and as I say, I've made a bit of a mess of the, the elastic. I think it's turned over somewhere. I honestly kind of know that I'm never going to wear these. 
I'm never going to wear them when they're so uncomfortable to sit down in and I've got such a feeling of, even though I've let them out and let them out. This is where I learned that I need to make, always make my trousers out of stretch. I guess if you're a person who doesn't have a tummy or a big bottom or whatever, you, you haven't got that problem that everything just sort of gets bigger as you sit down. But for me, I think bring on the lycra. Lycra is my friend. Trousers without stretch. No, no, no. <laughs> oh well, I guess it was valuable enough for that. So I'm going to make the next pair in, in something like a ponte with the same amount of rise and then take the, the amount of rise I need off because it will be different from non-stretch fabric. So yes, watch this space for another pair. This is not necessarily a fault of the duet pattern because the duet pattern is designed to sit below your waist. But the problem is that's fine if you've got a waist. <laughs> I've just got completely used to wearing trousers and leggings and so forth that have lycra in them. I think I'm spoilt now. I just don't, we must have, I was thinking back, didn't we used to wear like jeans? I remember wearing non-stretch jeans when I was young and they were so tight that you would have to lay on the bed to do them up. And I'm, I like the fact that they held my tummy in. I could no more wear those and fly to the moon now. Maybe non-stretch trousers aren't right for me anymore. I just, I just don't find them comfortable and I'm not going to wear them. Oh well, we live and learn. Just getting ready to go out and realise that there's a couple of things I wanted to show you. One was this top. Hopefully you can see it. Wasn't really quite sure. I made this out of a scrap last year. Charity shop scrap, of course. Um, it is the I Love Notions Forte View B or maybe... If you be with a short sleeve, because that's all I have fabric for. I didn't wear it much last winter because it's actually got not got, sorry, it's not got any warmth in it. Um, reconsidering this pattern again, what do you think? These are the gloves that I made, oven gloves that I made. <laughs> they were a bit of a mission because my machine did not like sewing such thick fabric. And this stuff was um, very, very thick. I mean, it was all kind of recycled stuff that I'd found from old duvets and things. Um, all very well, but it made the, the thumbs a bit... I mean, you'll never get burned, but they are a little bit uh, thick. Anyway. Thank you all for watching. Hope you all enjoyed today. Have Hope you're having a happy week in sewing. I do see lots and lots of uh, videos coming out with beautiful spring and summer things and I'm enjoying it very much. It's actually quite nice to see a counterpoint to the way your seasons are going. And, you know, on a warm day like today when the sun is shining, it gets pretty warm here. What does it say? It says it's, it says it's, oh, it says it's 28 degrees. It's not 28 degrees. It's 28 degrees on the deck, I think, where the, where the thing is. But it's 21 degrees in here today with no heating so you know it's it's pretty comfortable still we what I notice is different in, in New Zealand as opposed to England is in the winter when the sun comes out it heats right up much more than it does in England um, and and that's good so it means you know you can actually wear quite springy and summery clothes even in the winter on a good day but you do need a cardi <laughs> Anyway, that's me for today. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye.